Hello students, I wanna give you some more insight on how you are going to be using the Canva website to create your de-escalating digital drama and cyberbullying poster. So right here, you should have some sort of logo or slogan that is three to five words long. Okay, that's gonna be my slogan. Very creative, right? Okay, again, try not to use the don'ts and the do nots and the shouldn'ts and the should nots, even in your slogan too. Okay, so we're using the website called Canva, canva.com. Okay, you've logged in, you've gotten yourself to this page. If you've already started, your, your design has been saved down here under your designs. Here's created design, here's your designs. If you wanna start over or you're just getting started, we are gonna use the style called Instagram post. Instagram post right here, click on it. All right, so here we get started basically gives a blank canvas to build our poster on. Or we can go over here and choose a template. I would probably recommend starting with a blank canvas. A lot of these templates have a lot of uh, colors and text and elements on there that we don't really need that aren't really related to technology. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a blank canvas. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get started with background. Okay, there's all different sorts of backgrounds. Again, some of them get really busy. Okay, beautiful background. Not sure what it has to do with, with digital drama and cyberbullying. Same thing with these leaves and these cactus and all of that stuff. Okay, some of these just have patterns. That's okay, okay. Some of these are real light in color. That's okay. There's also solid colors at the front, at the top. You can choose a solid color. Okay. So whatever you use, make sure whatever you put on top of it makes it clear and easy to read. This kind of has a lighter color towards the top. It gets a little darker down here. So I have to remember that with the colors that I put on top of it. Okay. So I have my background. You can always change your background later and I can show you that. Next thing I want is I wanna to go to text because I wanna add my title. Okay, for my title, I'm gonna use a heading, obviously. Okay, so I go to my document and I take my logo and hopefully I've checked spelling, capitalization, all that. Command C, go over here, whoops, Command V. Okay, now I want to make it larger. So I selected it with my mouse. I go up here to font size and I can manipulate the font size. I can click in front of this word and press enter or return. Okay, I can drag it out a little bit. Okay, and then I can position it. I can slide it sideways if I want to make something like that work. Okay, you just have to think, you just have to kind of manipulate it and make it work on your poster. Okay, remember. The slogan is what's gonna attract somebody's attention to your poster. Okay, now I have to think about, okay, how am I gonna get my ideas on there? I have all my rules. So I have all my tips down here. Here are all my tips. All right, so I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna choose the text and I'm gonna have a body text. Okay, that gives me a real small text box. It's only size 12. Okay, I can, I wonder if I can increase this now. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna see if that helps. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here and um, I'm gonna take all, I'm gonna see what happens when I copy all these lines. Command C. Okay, go in here, Command V. Okay, they kind of all clump together. I would do probably one line at a time. But anyways, I'm gonna uncenter it, okay? Here's my first tip. Here's my second tip. Here's my third tip. Here's my fourth tip. Okay, I'm kind of separating these out a little bit. Um, here's my fifth tip. OK, 
Okay. Now that I have them all in separate lines, I can select them again. I can go up here and I can add bullet points. But notice how much better your bullet points look when everything's left aligned versus centered. It doesn't really make sense to center a bulleted list. Okay. So just maybe it's just me. Okay. But that's, that's what I would do. You can change font size by going up here, changing some different things if you need to. Okay. Different things you can do. Okay. Still kind of boring. This all could be done in a Google Doc. So now what if I added an element? Okay. Kind of found this with my eighth period class. Okay. What about some frames? Okay. We found some kind of cool frames here. What about the computer screen? Hmm. Now could I bring this into my computer screen? I want the four-sided arrow. There you are. Could I put that inside there? I can stretch out my computer screen. And I can take this. And I could manipulate this inside. Okay, now I gotta go to my computer screen though. Let's see what I can do. Can I make it transparent? Hmm, probably should have done that first. Ah, look at this. There we go. Don't wanna do that too much though. All right, so, anyways, what I should have done is put this on there. Then I created a text box and put this inside of there is how I should have done it. Here, I know what I'm going to do. Am I confusing you yet? Let's go up here. Let's go up here. But if I take this, I bet I can make this transparent. I don't want to do that. All right. Well, this is what I'm going to do. How about I copy this? I can't see. Now I'm going to delete it. Now, what if I did a command B? Ah, aha. Then, okay, and I can still add my bullet points back in, and I can still manipulate it if I wanted. So notice what I'm doing, putting it all inside a computer, because we're talking about computer. Okay, I can increase font size, Oop, probably a little bit too much. Okay, so I'm building this. And I'm adding some elements to make it look like a poster and not just something I could have done in a Google Doc, okay? And a lot of different things you can do to manipulate and work with this. And some of you have done a little bit more with Canva, some of you not as much, okay? If I go over here, there's other photos I can add in if I can find something that works, Okay, you just have to use your space. Now, another thing I want to point out, notice how clear and easy this is to read. My blue background is light, my words are dark. Here, my background's a light gray, my words are dark. That makes it easy to read. If your backgrounds are light, font should be dark. Backgrounds are dark, font should be light. So these are just some things you need to remember when creating your video. Your, I'm sorry, when creating your poster. Thank you.